good day. I am Precious Sara B. Ortiliano. I'm Sara B. Ordillas. I am Shire Faith D. Ija. And I am Dr. Elimar A. Pascual from the Department of Education, Nagkarlan Sub-Office, Laguna, Philippines. The title of our study is Role of Community and Stakeholders in Alleviating the Effect of Pandemic in Education. After a school year of trying to leverage back into the norm, the Department of Education of the Philippines continued to pursue schemes that would cater into the enhancement of learners, especially those who are lagging behind. DEPED Order No. 14 Series of 2023 was introduced as a replacement of the summer class for those who need academic assistance in getting ready for the next grade level. The order is entitled Policy Guidelines on the Implementation of National Learning Camp and this is in line with the department's agenda Matatag, Bansang Makabata, Batang Makabansa. With this recently implemented program and many other projects being implemented, will the Filipino learners be able to leverage back into the norm back when the pandemic has not yet hit the globe? In what ways are the effects of pandemic seen in the youth of today? How can stakeholders, parents, barangay officials, non-government organizations be able to assist educational institutions so as to provide maximum quality education to the youth of today? What actions and projects does educational sector still do and implement in order to battle against the lowering performance of learners? The findings in the study can be used in action plans needed to have education recovery. Face-to-face -face instruction has always been the norm. However, during COVID-19, it was suspended to reduce the risk of infection. With this, the Commission on Higher Education, or CHED, and the Department of Education, or DepEd, put into a practice of variety of learning modes, including modular learning. It was highlighted in the study made by Anzaldo 2021 that learning continues when the learner adapts to change and parents realize their important role in their children's education. On the other hand, one of the disadvantages of distance learning that the study emphasizes is that not all learners do their mod modules committedly. Padangle and Sumawang of 2020 conducted a study wherein they assessed challenges encountered opinions, and recommendations of teachers, parents, and learners about the implementation of modular learning. Based on one of their findings, the majority of parents said that they had adequate time to help their children with their studies by providing academic support. In addition, 79% of parents say they have no problems adhering to the deadlines for retrieving and submitting their children's modules. Facebook and Messenger are the mediums that parents usually use to contact their child's teachers. The majority of them said that they have a communication with the teachers. This study aimed to describe the needed participation of stakeholders in order to alleviate the effect of pandemic in education sector. Specifically, it sought to answer the following questions. First, in what ways are the effects of pandemic seen in the youth of today? Second, how can parents, barangay officials, and non-government organizations be able to assist educational institutions so as to provide maximum quality education in the youth of today? And then third, what actions or projects does educational sector still do and implement in order to battle against the lowering performance of learners. To gather important data, six local officials in Nagarlan, five from private sectors, and five parents were interviewed face-to-face. -to, -face. to sum it up, there were 16 respondents for this study. 
Through the responses, themes were developed which represented the roles of community and stakeholders in alleviating the effects of pandemic in education. The researchers asked permission from the chosen respondents a scheduled interview. A semi-structured interview with prepared questions and instant follow-up questions were employed during face-to-face -face encounter. The basic questions were those which the respondents deemed to be assistance that community and stakeholders can contribute to the education sector in order of the youth of today leverage back from effect of pandemic in their studies. Researchers both utilized the pen and paper method of taking down responses from participants and the audio recording as well so as not to miss important details from the participants' responses. Qualitative data were gathered from a face-to-face -face interview, sorted according to the question, item, and answer of respondents, and treated using a content analysis. Content analysis is used by data analysts. It is a form that can show patterns in recorded communication that indicate the question and answer of the respondents. Using this method, the researchers of this study were able to form teams, representing the needed role of the community and stakeholders in eradicating the effects of pandemic in the education of the learners. previous pandemic posed challenges to youth, not just in the aspect of learning loss, but in their overall well-being as well. For mental health, there has been several news of depression, anxiety, loneliness, and suicide attempts during the pandemic. Many students experienced learning loss, particularly in numeracy and literacy skills. This is the very reason why the Department of Education Focus on these two things immediately after the cessation of pandemic. Physical health deteriorated as well as many youth were not properly guided on proper health care in times of pandemic. Digital overload has also become an issue not just for educators but for learners as well, as teaching and learning usually depended on gadgets for competency transfer and communication. Parents should constantly foster their children's passions of learning through meeting their needs and providing them with support, guidance, and teachings. There are several ways in which parents can go hand-in-hand -hand with the school in alleviating the effect of pandemic to the education of their children and to the bigger context, the youth of today. One is active involvement. They themselves should make themselves available whenever needed for an activity program or event, the least being the card showing in parent-teacher conference. Second is creating a learning-friendly environment at home in which their children can have an extension of school at home like having a designated area to study. Fostering community school collaboration and taking initiatives on innovative programs can greatly contribute to quality education. Government organization like the Barangay Council has an important task in rearing children of their community towards decreasing the learning gap brought about by pandemic. Developing and facilitating a community-based educational monitoring system can aid the school in tracking dropouts out of school youth, having updated child mapping, cohort survival rate, and the likes Allocating learning resources from the community budget is an encouragement to school officials. Non-government organizations' commitment and willingness to reach out will create a brighter future for the youth. While government organization has an important role to contribute for the return of good standing of education, Non-government organizations like private business owners have equal opportunity and essential role for the quick recovery after pandemic. Professionals can suggest or develop educational programs which are tailored to the needs of the present-time business establishments so that job mismatch will not have its part when learners finish a track or course. 
Providing alternative education programs by tying up like vocational training is something that many would avail, especially the out-of-school youth or those who have special skills and are promising to be a strong workforce of the community and whole nation. Education sector should continue to innovate and adapt and secure collective effort with other sectors. Robust teacher professional development, especially in the utilization of gadgets, will greatly affect and enhance teaching efficacy. Assessment strategies should also be one of the FOSI in conferences and seminars so as to provide timely and up feedback that will ensure quality learning and evaluation. Project-based learning can also be relieved because this type of approach or teaching approach promotes experiential, practical, and real-world learning wherein the learners can easily apply what they are learning through collaboration with other members of the school and the community. The five themes were developed in the study are there are the following. The previous pandemic posed challenges to youth, not just in the aspect of learning loss, but in their overall well-being as well. Parents should constantly foster the children's passion of learning through support, guidance, and teachings. Fostering community school collaboration and taking initiatives on innovative programs can greatly contribute to quality education. Non-government organizations' commitment and willingness to reach out will create a brighter future for the youth. And the education sector should continue to innovate and adapt. Community officials should go to decrease the learning gap brought about by pandemic by developing and facilitating a community-based educational monitoring system, allocating learning resources from the community to budget, Supporting alternative learning system operation, sponsoring children for financial support, and collaborating with the General Parent Teacher Association. Non government organizations or NGOs should contribute for the return for good standing of education by having the professional suggest or develop tailored educational programs, providing alternative educational training programs. Offering teacher training and capacity, building programs, and extending financial aids. Every child is a blessing from God, and each needs a support system in order to have holistic growth. Much more in times of trial, kids and learners cannot progress without the collaboration of the forces around them. Parents, community officials, and non-government organizations play a crucial role in solving educational issues, enabling learners to gain a variety of information and in realizing their full potential. Jose Angel Gurria, a Mexican economist and diplomat, once said, it takes a collaboration across a community to develop better skills for better lives. If this is true for the economy, it is most certainly applicable to education. The school alone cannot do the task of guiding learners towards becoming persons of worth. It takes a community to rear a child, and it takes collaboration to get back into action towards recovery and progress. Once again, I am Precious Sara B. Ortigliano, I'm Sarah Dear Dilias. I am Shirefate D. Ija. And I am Dr. Elimar A. Pasqual. Thanks for watching. Keep safe and God bless. <laughs>